Okay guys, we're going to start off this recipe by getting some ingredients ready because this recipe goes pretty quick. I have some garlic, some ginger, and some onion. I am going to grate these on this microplane here just so that it can be real fine. And the ginger, what I like to do to ginger because I, I use a lot of ginger in my cooking. I keep it in the freezer and then I just pull it out as I need it. It seems to work out pretty well for me like that. It's a little dark, but it still tastes very good. So then I just get my grater. I'm gonna need about two tablespoons of this. Okay, and then I just scoop it up, put it in the bowl. This way we have it ready. Okay, and then I'm gonna do the garlic. Now the garlic, if you just wanna dice it, that's fine. I just like my real fine so that nobody bites into any garlic while they're eating, they're enjoying their egg roll. Okay, then I scoop it up. Put it into my little bowl and then I'm going to get about a half of an onion and we're going to dice it. Okay, put that in our little bowl, have it ready. Okay, I'm going to show you the egg roll wrappers. I took them out of the refrigerator just to make them easier to roll because if they're firm, when you first take them out, they tend to break. So these are the egg roll wrappers that I use, egg roll skins that they're called. So uh, I'm gonna leave these out while we continue to cook the pork. Cabbage that we're gonna use, I buy it already chopped. If you wanna buy a head of cabbage and chop it yourself, that's fine, but this is the amount that I use and it just makes it easier for us. And then I have my uh, ground pork. I'm gonna transfer y'all over to the stove and we'll get started. Here I have my wok, which has already been uh, heating up. I put about a tablespoon, not too much, of uh, oil. Let this get hot, and then we are gonna add our pork in there, and we're gonna fry this up real good. Okay, we're gonna fry this up until it's nice and brown. Okay, it's been about 10 minutes that I've been browning up the meat. Everything is nice and brown. We're gonna start adding in our onions and ginger. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is add in the onions, the ginger, and the garlic. Let's get that in there. We're going to wait till our onions are translucent. Okay, now that our onions are translucent, we're going to go ahead and start adding our spices. Uh, I like to add um, white pepper. We're going to add some salt. And we're going to add some soy sauce. Okay, we're going to mix this up real good. And then we are going to add the cabbage. And the cabbage, you don't want to cook it down too much because you don't want it all mushy. You want a little bit of crunch in your cabbage for your egg rolls. Okay, and this is our cabbage that I showed you. I'm going to put in the whole bag. Okay, and then we're just going to mix this. This is going to take about three minutes at the very most. And this is where you want to taste your filling and adjust your, your soy sauce or you don't want too much liquid in here because you don't want your wrappers to get uh, soggy. You see how quick that starts to wilt? I personally like a little bit of crunch in the cabbage. If you want to cook it down more, that's okay. I mean, you do what you like. It's your kitchen. Okay, that should be good right there. See how that looks? Hope you can see that. I'm going to bring you in for a close-up. Okay, it's been a couple of minutes. Okay, I'm going to turn off the heat. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my bowl where I'm going to put my cabbage and a strainer. And the reason I like to do this is to, you need to let this sit so that it can cool off before you start wrapping your uh, egg roll wrappers to make sure that I get all the moisture out of it because you do not want soggy egg roll wrappers. So we're just going to let this sit here and cool for about a half an hour. Let it drain, just like that. And we will be back. I will transfer you back over to the counter. Now, to finish off these egg rolls, as you saw in the beginning, we put the meat into this strainer and I left it here for about a half an hour. Look at all that that comes out of it. See, and if you put that into your wrappers, they're gonna get soggy. So I'm gonna go ahead and drain that and then pour my meat back in here. Sometimes I'll make the meat the day before and let it drain overnight in the refrigerator. And this way I'm sure they're not gonna get soggy and they get nice and crispy. 
Okay, I'm gonna show you the wrappers. I keep a clean, wet dish towel on them because you don't want them to dry up on you. So I take them out and sometimes they're real stuck to each other and it's real hard to separate them. You just gotta pull them apart gently. I hope you can see that. This one's a little smashed. See how it's a little folded? Just unfold it the best you can. And then I take a few apart at a time. So when I roll them, I can roll them all real quick. Okay, and what I do is I get that dishcloth and then I cover them so that they don't dry up on me. Now we're gonna take our egg roll wrapper, put the point towards yourself, get a little bit of the filling, probably about two tablespoons. You don't wanna overfill them because you don't wanna tear your wrapper. Okay, and then you take the middle, you take the point part of it, you go forward, and then you kind of press it back like that. First, I guess I better show you what we're gonna glue these together with. Here I have some all-purpose flour and some water, and then we're just gonna make this into a little paste. This works better than the cornstarch, I think. It keeps them really closed, and it gets crispier, I think. Take your brush and then you go all along the edge. And then you bring your sides over like this. And then you just start to roll them forward. Put a little bit more paste here. And there you go, just like that. And then I'm gonna place them on a sheet tray right here and then just keep going. I finished rolling all the rolls. I have some here and I have a few over on the other side. It made a total of 17 total, which was almost the whole wrapper minus one, the last one or the first one that was kind of ripped, so that I guess it worked out for us. Okay, I'm gonna pop you over to the stove and we're gonna start frying these. Okay, I had, I'm gonna use the wok today. I had the oil preheating. It should read around 350, 350 degrees. And I'm gonna start putting the egg rolls in here. And we just want them a light golden color. Make sure they're closed. I think four is going to be the magic number here. And then you just want to keep turning them so they get golden brown all the way around. Okay, and just when they're this color, that's when they're ready to come out. So you just let them drain just a little bit and line them up on your tray. the finished product with the egg rolls. Look at that. Oh, those are so scrumptious. Doesn't that look delicious? And they're hot and I'm burning my fingers, but that's okay. Look at that. Nice and crunchy. I hope y'all give these a try because I'm pretty sure you're going to like them. And like I said, you get 17 rolls and of course it just depends on what size you make them. And I will have the recipe listed in the description box below and any items I may have used. 
and also let me mention I do have it on this cookie sheet with the rack so that it drains and they stay crispy like that. That's gonna be it guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it for you. If you try the video and like it, come back and give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel, the button's right there. The recipe and everything will be linked in the box below. If you have any questions about the recipe, leave it in the comments below and I will get back with you. And don't forget to go visit our Facebook page at Virtual Kitchen with Laura. Okay guys, talk to you later. Bye.